quick update of where I'm at with my vertical axis wind turbine project. Um, there's a few reasons why we need to use solar and wind uh, combined. Uh, for the last week or so here in uh, the Pacific Northwest we have been under complete cloud cover. It's been rainy, it's been real gloomy, and we have had almost nothing uh, for sunlight to charge my batteries. So for the last three days, for about four or five hours a day, I put the house charger on the batteries at a two amp charge to uh, keep things topped off. Uh, so that's one reason why we need to have wind as a supplement if we have no sun for four, five, six days at a time. So here is a smart drive motor from a washing machine. Uh, it's a direct drive motor. It's not one of the standard AC motors. These things are pretty cool. Um, with some simple rewiring, we now have a good DC generator that at you know 50 to 100 RPMs will give you a 20 to 40 volts DC at about 2 to 3 amps. It's a quick look outside. This has been our weather conditions for the last week. Almost zero sunlight. This was the washing machine. Uh, I'm going to use this side here and the other side here are going to be my other two blades for the wind turbine. This was the inside tub of that washing machine. And that's where the motor was located. It's kind of a pain to get it out of there, uh, but once you get it out, you're, you're good to go. Okay, as far as I can tell, any of your high efficiency washing machines or your, uh, your front load washing machines will have these style motors in them. Here is the factory wiring diagram. It shows the coils wired in three phase uh, without any rectifiers. Uh, in this configuration, this motor slash generator will produce around 300 volts at about two to four amps. Here is the wiring configuration that we are going to use to convert into DC. Uh, this takes the coils and parallels them which will lower the voltage but increase the amperage. And of course we need to put bridge rectifiers on each of the three phases. I'm going to show you how efficient this motor is. I have a regular 60 watt incandescent light bulb. I have one of the three phases connected and of course the other goes to the ground. With just a quick spin, we can light that light right up. That's a 60 watt incandescent. Now we're going to go with the 40 watt equivalent LED. Now there's a definite reduction in the force that it takes to light that bulb. The resistance inside that bulb is way less than what is in the incandescent. Here is how simple this motor generator really is. You have this here, has your magnets on it. One bolt holds that all together. And the way this bolt is designed, when you unscrew it, it will push this off of the shaft. There's a little washer down in there that's actually part of the screw that when you unscrew it, it pushes it right off the shaft. Uh, one retainer for the shaft itself. And then you have your, your stator. Uh, that'll all come right out of there real simple. Uh, what I have to do is clean this up get all these little fins off of here and then I'll get two big U-bolts to clamp this down. I've seen some other guys that's how they're doing it and then you can just connect your wind turbine to this shaft here on this spline and uh, there you go. So basically a pretty simple setup here. Um, the cogging effects, I've seen some videos um, to where they'll take and actually grind this a little more round here so that only a, a very small point of this gets real close to the magnets and that will reduce some of the cogging. Uh, but once I rewire it and get it set up for DC, uh, we'll worry about that later. We'll see how it works without doing that. Uh, there's four bolts here that hold this other portion together. Those come right out. Um, if you guys try to take one of these apart yourself, you'll figure out how, how simple these really, really are. So here in the coming weeks I'm going to get some metal stock together, figure out some sort of a frame, um, get some stuff welded up and see if we can get this all put together and mounted and see if we can start generating some electricity to charge some batteries.